and the base of the all seeing eye, and even on their dollar and the great seal, which is the reverse side of the great seal, there's two sides of it with the Janus character. It's planted in the wilderness. That's what it symbolizes, the parched wilderness, the wilderness of ignorance the profane, the public, and it rises above the public, it dominates the public. And so the intellect, the light, the intelligentsia have been given the right to dominate the lessers. They are not the bosses though. 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 You know, we we have a, a, a site, and we pay for it, and they're directing the site to Alan Watts' site. They're, Get the hell out of here. Yeah, try it. What? So I, I wrote a, an email today. Uh, the last time Alan Watt called me, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to think how long ago, six months, maybe a year. I said, I haven't heard from you for a while. And he said, oh, I've been in India. I said, in India? How could you go to India on your income? He, last time I saw him when he came to my meeting, he had a truck with a hole and you could put your feet through to the ground. So he said, oh, the Sufis paid for it. I said, what? He said, yeah, the Sufis paid for my entire trip to India. The Sufis is a secret society. It's a Muslim secret society. He said, yeah. So iPower gets sold. iPower then gets bought by a an Indian company. So what's happening, obviously, is they've redirected anybody who uses Keeley.net or uh, WordSculptor.net to Alan Watts's, even though we pay for it. So maybe he, I think he's like, I was discussing this with my friend, like maybe like Alan's just like a like a gatekeeper of some type, like maybe like just like. Yeah, he, well, basically he's their employee. He's like David Icke, except with a website instead of books. He got books, but little books. The same same thing as Ike, just on a smaller scale. Oh man. Well, you know, I spoke to him a while, a little while ago, and he doesn't. He didn't seem like he was hiding anything, but I guess he... Look, it can't happen by accident. Uh The only people who could make the change is eye power. Yeah, when he did that, that, that's really like... that that says a lot right there, but I'm just saying like in the in the, in the past when I spoke to him, uh, yeah, I I I brought you up to him and he didn't really. This is when I called his house and he didn't really um uh, say uh like I don't know like he just said that that nobody has all the answers and I don't know that like, uh, uh he <laughs> he's he's wrong. He doesn't want to give all the answers. Yeah, I noticed that when uh, like the DVDs that he sold. And stuff like he'll tell you, and then he'll go like he'll go into the I don't know the the, the Kabbalah, the Kai and the Bar, the Travels of the Soul, and he would say talk about it, but but that's for the other talk. So I guess you gotta keep spending money and keep giving donations. But then you realize, but you said the whole thing with the soul is is really uh, DNA. That the body contained various degrees of of uh, spirit or soul. The Ka and the Ba, and there's other, other groupings as well, but the Ka and the Ba were the main ones. And when you understand the Ka and the Ba, you've understood more than all of the mystery religions put together with the books they put out on the shelves, because there's a formula in there. There's a reality in there too, and it's not what people think it is. And perhaps next time, the next tape I do, uh, it'll be based on these ancient religions. I mean, you can't get a better explanation for DNA than what they use for the soul. It stays there with all the information after you die. Wow, so you think he like he joined some type of secret? Well, they wouldn't have paid for his trip unless there was some kind of relationship. Uh, Mo Muammar Gaddafi used to bring people to his country and and tour them around as long as they went back home and promoted Nazis. <laughs> wow. wow, wow, that's kind of like surprising to me. Yeah, and those people that he brought that he didn't want promoting, you would hear about them falling off 
the roof of a hotel. I was just saying to myself, like that that uh that website with the uh, the connect the, is the Kelly you said the Kelly one was shut down, but that one's getting redirected, or was it the Canadian uh, Institute of Political Integrity website? The, the first one was called Keeley dot net. Uh huh. And a domain name seller out of Austin, Texas, was the place my former webmaster got the thing, the domain name, Keeley.net. All of a sudden, people couldn't access the site on iPower. So the webmaster went through the process of finding out what had happened. And the answer was that I was spamming. And I said to the guy, call, tell him to call me up. So the guy calls me up, and I said, what do you mean I'm spamming? He says, well, you're putting your things on other people's website. Mm -hmm. I said, I post to my website and to three communities every morning, but other people are copying it and spreading it around. I can't do anything about that. I'm thankful that they do, but I can't do anything about it. He said, ah, that's it. We can't do anything about it. You're spamming. (laughs) So that stopped that. So I got a hold of iPower, and they said, we can't do anything unless you have the domain name. So I said, give me a domain name. So what do you want? So Word Sculptor. And he, he gave me that and paid for it. And I said, now put my website back on Word Sculptor. And he did. So instead of being Keeley.net, you had Word Sculptor.net at, uh, and then previous site, blah, blah, blah. So that's on right, that was on right, that's on right now. Or that's Yeah. That was on until yesterday. It's no longer on. Well, I never knew about that one. The one, the one that I used to go. I think I think I I think I did know about because the one I used to go on was the the Canadian Institute, and it had a lot of archives information. Of, yeah, well, try it. <laughs> <Probably. You'll see. laughs> oh man, because I you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna take all of those and print them all up and and get a and put them all in a book and, and get it binded. <laughs> oh man. It's uh, I knew it. Wow. They they are so afraid that when when somebody tells it exactly how it is, mm-hmm. that they cannot allow it to be to be spoken. So there's this group at iPower. Their management is in Tempe, in uh, Arizona. It's a suburb of Phoenix, mm-hmm. and uh, they they are the ones who are in touch with the controllers in Austin, Texas, that's where most of the activity goes on because Texas is the land of the Aztecs. Just switch the word around and call it Texas instead of Aztecs. You know, it's funny too, uh, I, since, because uh, lately there's a lot of people like circulating your stuff and they're like, oh, it's big Alan Watt, Glenn and Kelly controversy and and just before that, you know, I would I would call Alan, and he would call, he would pick up and talk, but now he just keeps it off the hook. And now there's a lot of things that have been coming up, like that get me really. I think he's scared now, like of getting exposed or something. Well, I, I mean, I posted this morning. I uh, do you uh, access the communities? Uh, um, what's your name? Uh, hmm? Draco debates. Draco debates. Yeah, smart group. Two and CTRL. What are the name of those? Those are the name of groups. Yeah, Yahoo groups. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. So you post the. So I posted and I said, you know, what's going on? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Why is Alan Watts coming on my site instead of my site? You're getting Alan Watts. So Draco debates, I I think, belongs to the Democrats. But I'm the only one that posts most of the time because nobody goes there. I think they set it up just so that they could receive my post and and then recuperate it from there without being seen coming to my site. Uh. 